Good day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name's Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot check ride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video covers winds and temperatures aloft forecasts, both textual and graphical. Produced for specified locations in the continental U.S. by the National Weather Service, both are available at www.aviationweather.gov or on the ForeFlight application. A list of reporting locations may also be found at aviationweather.gov. Using the charts shown, we see that the winds and temperatures aloft may be 6, 12, or 24-hour forecasts computer-generated four times daily at 0 Zulu, 0 600 Zulu, 1200 Zulu, and 1800 Zulu. The products are issued to the public two hours later at 0 200 Zulu, 0 800 Zulu, etc. The time the products are made valid for use depend on whether it is a 6, 12, or 24-hour forecast. We see that a 6-hour winds aloft generated at 0 Zulu does not become valid until 0 600 Zulu, but is intended for use from 0 200 Zulu to 900 Zulu, while a 24-hour forecast generated at the same time of 0 Zulu would not be made valid until 22 hours after issuance and is intended for use from 1800 Zulu to 0 600 Zulu the following day. Put simply, the for use time is the time the data should begin to be used for pre-flight planning and decision making, while the valid time may be seen as the time when the forecasted conditions may manifest. Amendments are not issued to winds and temperatures aloft forecasts. We will begin with the textual depiction of winds and temperatures aloft. To access winds and temperatures aloft for your route, go to aviationweather.gov, press the forecast tab, Winds aloft, and on the black and white map with red dots in the lower right corner, select the forecast location nearest to your route segment. Once done, a page similar to this one will pop up. I selected Salt Lake City. We will use this as our example winds and temperatures aloft forecast for this video. This issuance contains data from the 30th day of the month at 000 Zulu. The information is to be used for pre-flight planning and decision making from 0200 Zulu to 0900 Zulu. The conditions forecasted can be expected to occur from 0600 Zulu onward. The first two digits of each item is the wind direction relative to true north rounded to the nearest 10 with the zero at the end lopped off. The second two digits are the wind speed depicted in knots. Following is a plus or minus sign and the two digit temperature in degrees Celsius. Altitudes above 24,000 feet will all be negative temperatures and the plus or minus sign will be absent. The winds at 9,000 feet MSL above Salt Lake City International are from heading 010 at 11 knots with a temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. Typically, winds and temperatures are forecasted every 3,000 feet. You may notice at certain locations and altitudes, either temperatures or both winds and temperatures may not be issued. This is because wind forecasts are not issued for altitudes within 1,500 feet of a location's elevation, and temperatures are not issued for altitudes within 2,500 feet. Light and variable winds or winds below 5 knots will be coded 9 or 9 or 0, 0 followed by temperature. Looking at the underlying example, we notice that there is no such thing as heading 780. Winds with speeds between 100 and 199 knots are decoded by subtracting 50 or 500 degrees from the heading, leaving us with a heading of 280, and add 100 to the speed, leaving us with a speed of 103 knots. Again, 780353 may be decoded as winds from heading 280 at 103 knots, temperature negative 53 degrees Celsius because we are above 24,000 feet. The graphical depiction is found at aviationweather.gov under the forecast tab as well. The top center map is the one to use. The altitude may be selected using the scroll bar to the left and the valid time can be selected on the upper scroll bar. The winds depicted by arrows are moving from the barbs towards the head or station location at a speed depicted by the barbs. The short lines depict 5 knots, the longer barbs depict 10 knots, and the triangle barbs depict 50 knots. In case one may forget, a key is included at the bottom of the map. A red barb may be included to depict gusts. The temperature is depicted in degrees Celsius above and slightly to the left of the station. Clicking on the station displays the wind and temperature forecast as well as the three-letter airport identifier. Again we may see the winds over Salt Lake City International heading 010 at 11 knots, negative 5 degrees Celsius temperature. 
This concludes our video over winds and temperatures aloft forecasts. I hope you may confidently decode the forecasts on your own now. Thank you as always for watching, and if you found the video helpful, I hope that you may like it, subscribe to keep track of any new videos, or share with somebody else who may find it helpful as well. I'd appreciate any feedback in the comments section, and safe flying!